Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to Fantasy Calradia. Now, in today's episode, we are going to be sieging Genbadir Castle with its intimidating 331 people. But as you can tell, a lot of them are low-tier units in here. And as mentioned at the end of the last episode, there's some pretty sweet war slaves for us to rescue and put to work. So, let's get this siege started. Now, while we wait for this to happen... I will remind you that this month, Amateur Hour Gaming is supporting the Children's Wish Foundation of Ontario. Dave and I have committed to making a $50 donation. You can help us make that donation bigger. Every time you share one of our videos, we add 10 cents to the total. Every time we gain a new subscriber, we add a dollar to the total. So, you know, subscribe, tell your friends, and help us help the kids. But enough of that, let us lead our soldiers in an assault. Now this is going to be kind of tricky. We've only got 168 units, so we're outnumbered basically 2 to 1. But ladders are pretty sweet, as we all know. And, oh, I can't wait to see this golem in action. That'll be fantastic. I'm very curious about that. Let's get our war slaves a little farther out, because, you know, they can pull some hate for us. Nothing wrong with that. Get our archers kind of just in behind them. And then where should we place our orcs? Are they actually doing the damage? Let's see. Nobody killed yet. Oh, and let's see. That's how does Anela look in her new, you know, banner-themed male. Heraldric male, even, if you will. Yeah, she looks pretty beastly. What are you? What are you tagged as? Probably a war slave or something. That's a shame. Let's get everybody to uh, advance a little bit. I don't really want to go in there straight away. I would like to actually uh, do a little bit of range damage first, as per the usual. Only 56 people, so we're not terribly uh, outnumbered. That would be uh, maybe Aiden's tactics coming in. I do like that I've got a smart person doing smart things for us. We like that. Let's check out an early bless. These people sorted out here. Now where, where are all my archers? What happened? Did my one mage get killed? I have three. Oh yeah, there you go, guys. Come on. Get in here. Get in here. Well, maybe this is not the route to go. We didn't spawn with very many ranged, capable individuals. So let's send our war slaves straight up the wall. See how they make out. Get them into the mix, as it were. Alrighty. Oh, and look at this guy. I can't help but go over here. Is this a cavalry dude? Oh, it's a Knight of the King. Look at these dudes. I love the different armors and stuff, but let's not mess about too much. So they're getting all up in there. Let's get mages, say, here. We'll get the orcs a little out there. I want to keep these wargs on me because I think that would be fantastic. Yeah, see, there we go. Now we're starting to see some of the numbers that I'm interested in. And there are so few infantry, we'll get them to follow me as well. And once we've made a hole, we'll bring our, uh, our archers up into here. How are we making out? Eh, not terrible. Let's get them, say, just bottom of the ladder here. Oh, Gordak holding up the line. Come on, buddy. Let's get down to it. Okay. My blade thirsts for beard. Here we go. One for Gordak. Not that we're keeping score, although that would be awesome. Okay, where are our problems here? Okay. Let us just see. Is there anybody up in here? I'll check that real quick. Also get a nice overview of the battle. What would we like to do? Okay, so ideally I want to hold that line there. Let's get our orcs and our wargs because they're just bosses down into there. War slaves, what are you doing? Let's get you right there. Mages, time to come up and get into the mix, gentlemen. We got work for you. Oh, in fact, I'd like to bring my mages straight up into here. See if they can do some dommage from up in this little nest here. That'll be fantastic. And let's get down here and start doing some damages. Tactics are boring. Okay, uh, let's get... Uh, Everyone, I'm going to get you to hold the top of this ladder right there, maybe. Can we do it? Yes, excellent. 
And let's bring our archers actually down into here, maybe. Let's get over here and kill some dudes. For Grumpsh. For the Grumpsh. Oh, they're wrecking my mages, so I'm going to get back here and try to defend those guys. Uh, which was completely unsuccessful, and you killed my tower wizard. Do you have any idea how expensive that guy is? How hard I had to work to level him? How I had to overlook the enslavement of my brethren by the drow? You? Oh, we're just swinging at each other. Oh my goodness, do not want to be here. Where is that guy going anyways? Who cares? Who cares? There we go, that's the end of that guy. Oh my goodness, Gordak, shield time. Shield time, Gordak. Now they've got an excellent setup with their skirmishers and stuff over there. That is just fantastic. Okay, so... I think we want to try and deny them line of sight on us. We're just getting devastated up here. Whoop! So for this particular moment, we're actually going to charge everyone. Whoa! Charge everyone. Oh my goodness, charge everyone! <laughs> Thumbs and the working of them. And we'll take advantage of all this free XP. Or distract them so my units can get the free XPs. Where are you going? Nowhere, that's where. Where's Dwarf Hell? Because that's where I'd like to send you, Buster. Okay, everybody. Let us get down into this courtyard. Let us own it. Come on, move, Gordak. You can do it, bud. Everybody. Down here. We want to use this building, maybe. Uh, I'm going to let you... Uh, Hide everyone just back there. Maybe that's good. Let's see what we got going on over here. I smell the potential to flank. Oh, yes, I do. Arquebusers. I bet you they're worth some good XP. Oh, and let's heal up first, shall we? Shall we? Whoa. Gordak's going to eat it soon. Real soon, if he's not careful. Whoa. Oh, this could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Can we pull it out? Yeah, I got him in the ear. Whoa. Okay, don't want to be focused by those guys. Don't want to be focused. Oh my goodness, let's get back. Let's get back. Come on, Bear Warrior Shield. Don't let me down. Okay. Heal fast. Heal fast 3,000. Can I outheal their damage? That is all that matters to me. Do I have one more? Yes, amazing. Amazing. Gordak, you're amazing. The Groomsh gives you the powers. Now let's get everybody charging. And maybe keep our archers a little bit back, however. We've killed 144 of them with only 16 deaths. Fantastic. We love it. Can I, uh, perhaps we got another heal? Probably not. Okay, so how are we doing here? Will we continue to plug? Oh, we're going to do a flanking maneuver. Which is to say, try not to get killed by these three archers. Oh, oh, I don't want to pull that much hate. Oh, I do want to take these guys out here, these arquebusters, if I can. Yeah. Oh, this execution. Whoa, this is the spawn area. We're going to get back to my dudes, I hope. Oh, right in the face. Yeah, let's surround ourselves with some of our uh, our other units, shall we? Get a little closer to the clerics, even. Oh, and again, hold the phone. Yeah, battle size at 100. I gotta get that to save. I apologize for that. There we go. There we go. Swinging wildly, like a dog of Groomsh. I only have one eye. Don't blame me. It's really all I can do to just swing blindly. Half blind, even. Alrighty. What do we got here? Now, let's think. Let's think. They're down to five people. Uh, oh, my goodness. We've done pretty good. Now, there should be another spawn around here. That guy. That guy's going to kill people. <laughs> Okay. I think my units can probably take that one guy out. Let's get up here and see what these people are chasing after. Probably more archers. 
What have we? What have we over here? A uh, couple of guys. And I see the uh, drow priestesses checking their magic. Oh, is this one of those weird spawns? Yeah, yeah, he's going to be up there forever. So, all right. Gordak, parkour for the win. Let's go. One-eyed parkour. Can I kill this guy? Whoa. Yeah, take that. Oh, he didn't fall to the ground. For shame. Battle one, excellent. Now that is probably not all of them. Now how do we do here? One Hyrule Monk, two Blazing Hand Infantry, two Knights of the King, no, sad face, four Men at Arms, four Orc, th orc Thralls, Knights, Sweaty and Knights, da 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 da. I'm seeing three, five, six, maybe like six or eight of them were our units, the rest of them. All bad guys. All right. Let's go in and crush remaining resistance. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, out comes the executioner. You guys are mine. All of them are mine. If I can just get back on my feet. If I can just get back on my feet. If I can just get back on my feet. Yeah! There we go in the belly. Oh, you stole my kill, Ryder. But that's okay. That's okay, man. We will take that. Battle won. Yes! Defeated the enemy. No casualties. Kill them all. Yes! Rogi Garan run enough. You win today, you dog. Ugh, the shame of it. You are my prisoner now, dwarf. At our mercy. And here we go. Absolutely fantastic. We only lost, what, 29 people in that fight? Not bad at all. Let's go about replenishing our ranks. As per usual, I will not make you watch me do all of this. And I will come back if there's any sweet loot or when we're done with this. See you in a minute. So as you can see, we've picked up a few weapons and some armor. Nothing to really write home about. And here we are. Do we want Genbadir Castle? Now, I asked for the last one, and I'm not really sure how I feel about that, to be honest. Uh, I want to hold off on too many requests, because I would very much like Tharok's Gate when we get there. So, garrisoning troops. Do we want to do any of that? Let me see. Oh, Bear Warriors. Fantastic. Two more Swedian Knights to replace the rest. Uh, raiders to ravagers, riders to pouncers, looters to raiders. The amount of fighters draw recruit. Let's make you a scout. We have an even mix up. And look at this hell spawn. Oh my goodness, we're going to re retag them all as war slaves. They are probably not meant to just be charged into battle, but I mean, come on. Wouldn't you want to just send a Balrog at your enemies? Come on, man. That would be fantastic. So yeah, not really well. We'll throw this looter in there. I don't care. Uh, what do we got here? Hmm. Hmm. These thralls I quite like. I would just click Gollum, Bear Warrior. You know? Maybe we'll put some of these drow foot units in. Although I do kind of like watching them, and I would like to see how they skill up. So, yeah, we're going to leave one poor looter holding the fort. We're not really... Oh, I'll take you back. We're not really concerned. Now let's wait here for a little bit, heal up, and see if we end up having to defend it. See what the deal is. And there we are. So let's zoom out for a quick second while we do that, and just take a look at our progress. What's this? Whoa! Your blazing hand troops load the presence of demons in your army. They are even beginning to call you an unholy bastard. Your army morale. Okay, so we're going to stop. Uh, we're going to leave. Do I only get the one chance? Oh, I only get the one chance to manage the garrison. Okay, so. Party. Now, I should just take a real quick look. Morale 18. Not awesome. That'd be a quick fight, but it wouldn't get us much in terms of morale. Let's take a look at our party. Now, we have one Blazing Hand Inquisitor. Yeah, we have one guy. We have one Blazing Hand Inquisitor. So, I think it's time that we disbanded this guy from our army. Normally, I would have thrown him into, um, you know, thrown him into a garrison uh, somewhere. But I didn't think about the... The morale, which is another really interesting option. I love how the uh, the factions interact with each other and have morale based on that interaction. I think that's absolutely fantastic. Very, very clever. I mean, uh, you see that in wartime, but I like that uh, 
that the designer of this mod has kind of hardwired some of the D&D &D esque lore into this game by, you know, punishing slash rewarding you for keeping to a bit of the story, if you will, right? And of course, I'm going to let Shared XP deal with these guys. My Raider Shaman icon, I want to see how she levels up, so I'm putting her lower in the order. But let's get all our, our hell type units a bit farther up. Because we definitely want to see them running around in the next time we get a fight. So, there we go. How are we doing for food? All right, so we got a little more time to camp. How's the party? Yeah, let's do uh, let's do another day here at Genbadir, and we will uh, come back when we're all healed up and stuff, and see what we're doing next. Oh, look at this! The great warlord wishes to inform you that the Lord's Bleeding Throat Clan will be gathering for a feast at his great hall in Bloody Cliff, and invites you to be a part of this exalted assembly. I don't know. I don't really want to go all the way across the map for that. Let's see. Let's see what we got. So yeah, we'll just let these guys heal up and then we'll stomp around and see what we can do here before uh, the end of the episode. Oh, Great Warlord Quothu has decided to, con to confer Takram Castle on himself. Really? Fantastic. I didn't actually want the place, it's true. But there you go, nonetheless. Now, yeah, yeah, see, we're, we're starting to bleed party members. Leave. Okay. Oh, and we lost three bear warriors. That is the worst, the absolute worst. So what can we do? Who's Who looted that? One, two, there are three villages left. Oh. Do you want to do a loot run over here? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get a bit of cheap morale real quick. And uh, clearly some food and some money as well, which will be awesome. Oh yeah, Dawn Buddy. We must pay the iron price. Take our lunch from the little men. Whoa, nine village farmers. Okay, Whew. I don't know why that spooked me for some reason. Who are you? Drow surface raiders? They're running from us. I don't really feel like fighting the drow. Now here we go. Now, of course, I'm going to take whatever loot I can sort of, you know, afford in terms of space to pull out of here, but I'm actually kind of hoping that this will tempt someone from Theric's Gate. Oh my goodness, these hell creatures. Okay, look at this, look at this, we're just bleeding top-notch units. Come on, come on, ridiculous. Oh wow, another mithril ingot, that'd be great if I could sell them. And what do we got here? Wine, spice, da da da. I'm also checking for food, of course, as per the usual. Uh, dried meat, that'll last long. And we'll get a little variety here. Actually, I don't need this. This. I don't need three Maddox. Uh, actually, I'll take the best one, maybe. Get rid of the chipped one. Some honey for the troops. Alrighty. And there we go. That pretty much fills us up, so that's fine. We'll get out of there now. Alrighty, I am going to take a quick look at the garrison of Tharic's Gate. Oh, now this guy, this guy might give us some trouble. Except he's now out of sight. 511. 140 fighters, 140 foot dwarfs. I mean, the first 300 of them don't even count. How many champions do they have? 37. And only 8 clerics. Wow. Wow. Not a lot of prisoners either. And also, no Trill. Where is he? That would be fantastic to know that. But yeah, so that's our garrison. That basically is the last nut that we have to crack. Because I feel like all these villages are going to be tied to Theric's Gate. And let's take a real quick look at the faction reports. The Norcrack Realm occupies Theric's Gate, Adelin, Road, Tredil, Yuho, Kibta, and Dorn Badir. So let's take a look at Theric's Gate. Aldalon Road and Dorn Badir. Okay. Aldalon Road, Dorn Badir. So what are Treadal and Kiptek? It just belongs to him. There's no there's no castle tied to it. It's a standalone. That's interesting. Is that the same with Kiptek? Near Praven belongs to an Alul. Well how are we how are we going to take these from them? Because I would think once we get to Theric's Gate, you know, Adele Road and whatever, they'll roll in. But how do you take a village? Huh, that's an interesting problem. So we'll get out of here. And we are actually going to make the trek 
to, I don't know, anywhere. Uh, probably over to Tyr, because it's the closest. And I'm going to uh, sing a few songs, uh, boost the morale of my troops. And uh, in fact, I misspoke. I'm actually going to get all the way back to Geek Kid Castle, hopefully without losing too many guys after the fact. What are you doing? Why would you go that way? And we're going to put our Hellspawn into a garrison somewhere in the hopes of not losing our entire army. Yes, see? That's that's fantastic. So that's what we want to avoid. So we'll be back when this is no longer happening. Oh, and whilst performing, we got a message from the great warlord Krothu. As you can see here, the punchline is that he has decided to give Nihab Castle to War Chief Roshnag. And he'll give us the fantastically rich sum of 900 dinars for our efforts. Now, as per usual, we are going to accept this based on the same logic we've always used, that Gordak is not interested in acquiring property so much as denying the dwarves access to this world or any place to hide. So we're going to accept that. That's fine. We'll let them go. Also, now it's Roshnag's problem. He can garrison it. He can uh, he can do what he's doing. As you can see, I'm here in Shinzaluk's Ladder just uh, doing a bit of performing. And this is what I was after, looking to recruit some troops. Now, part of me wants to recruit 30 of these drow here, or 30 of these orc slaves, but I really need some more uh, priestesses. So what we are actually going to do is end this episode here. I'm going to spend a little bit more time performing. Uh, gathering up some female units. I'll play the same trick over in Bloody Cliff to gather up some orc and drow units. I need to build a pretty solid, like, full party of pretty much 250 people, camp on them a little bit so I can level them up, and then, pretty much, next episode, we're going to go and uh, take on Sarek's Gate. Because that is the last dwarven stronghold available to them. I'm very much looking forward to finally putting them to the sword, and we'll see what happens with those two outlying villages. There'll probably be a little bit of vassal cleanup we'll have to do afterwards just to run them down, to run down the last fleeing dwarves, which, of course, Gordak looks forward to. So as usual, I want to thank you guys for hanging out and spending some time with me today. Thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you don't. And please don't forget that sharing or subscribing to our content does help increase our donation to the Children's Wish Foundation this month. Dave and I have committed to 50 bucks. Every time you share, every time someone new subscribes, that total just gets bigger and bigger and it costs you nothing. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And until next we spill blood, my friends, take care.